Don't turn out the lights. Ever since Sarah was young, she always had a power she kept secret. Whatever she drew came true. Every day she played with her best friend Elizabeth. They play on magical creations that came straight from Sarah's imagination. But as the girls got older, they grew apart. Sarah threw herself deeper into painting while Elizabeth played sports and started hanging out with her friend Jessica more often. However, the two still maintained a tradition of meeting up in front of school and walking home together. Until one day, Sarah waited outside for Elizabeth, and Elizabeth never came. And then it happened again the next day. After days and days of Elizabeth not showing up, Sarah confronted her at school. Why won't you walk home with me? She asked. I walk home with Jessica now. It's no big deal. Sometimes things change. Sarah cursed at Elizabeth and screamed hateful things. Heartbroken, she ran home. She grabbed an old drawing of the two of them and tore it in half. The next day at school, when Sarah went to apologize to Elizabeth, Elizabeth didn't recognize her. She simply looked at her with a blank stare. Later that day, she noticed Jessica whispering something in Elizabeth's ear, as though they were talking about her. She became enraged again. That night, she taped the drawing back together so Elizabeth would remember who she was. But then she made another drawing. Clearly, Jessica was poisoning Elizabeth's mind, and she had to be stopped. Jessica didn't come to school the next day. Elizabeth remembered Sarah again, and without Jessica in the picture, the two met up in front of the school and walked home together once again. They hung out like old times in Sarah's room. Sarah was ecstatic to have her old friend back. But when she went downstairs to get lemonade, Elizabeth discovered Sarah's drawings. As she flipped through the drawings on Sarah's desk, her life flashed before her. She saw drawings of their childhood, meeting up to walk home after school, a ripped photo taped back together. But it was when she saw the last drawing that her blood ran cold. She ran out of Sarah's house and down the street to Jessica's house where she sprinted upstairs. She walked into Jessica's room, and there she saw her. Jessica was lying in bed with no mouth. It was the last drawing she had seen on Sarah's desk. When Sarah came back with lemonade for Elizabeth, she panicked. Her drawings were strewn about, and Elizabeth was gone. She knew that Elizabeth would never forgive her, and she couldn't live with the despair of knowing that her best friend hated her. Then and there, she ripped up every drawing she'd made, erasing herself from Elizabeth's memory for life and putting Jessica back to normal. She went to school the next day, a stranger to her best friend, and she never drew again. Click over here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV, and click over here to see more spine-chilling stories. Comment down below what kind of scary stories you want to see next. Don't turn out the lights.